Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perik Rishon, Daf Yud Gimel, Aleph, 13a. Loshia ker Yaakov mim komo. This does not mean that Yaakov is uprooted from its place. Elo Yisraelika, but rather Israel is his principal name. Yaakov tafel lo, and Jacob is a subsidiary to it. V'chen hu omer, and similarly Torah states, regarding the Messianic era, al tizkaru rishonot, Kadmoniot al tit bonanu. Do not recall former occurrences and do not contemplate earlier events. Al tis karorishonot ze shibut malchuyot. Do not recall former occurrences. This is a reference to the dominion of foreign kingdoms. The Kadmoniot al tit bonanu. Zot yetziat mitzrayim. And do not contemplate earlier events. This is the exodus, exodus from Egypt. Hineni ose chadasha atatismach. Behold, I'm bringing forth a new, uh, a new miracle. Now it will sprout. Tane Rav Yosef. Rav Yosef taught a brisa. Zo milchemet gog o magog. This is the war of gog and magog. Mashal lama hadavadome. An analogy to what is this comparable? La adam shaya me'alech lebet baderech to a person who is travelling on the road. And was confronted by a wolf and saved from it. So he went about relating the incident of the wolf. A lion confronted him and he was saved from it. So he went about relating the incident of the, of the lion. A snake confronted him and he was saved from it. He forgot the first two incidents. And went about relating the incident of the snake. Av kach Israel, so to Israel, tsarot acharonot mashkachot mishachkachot et harishonot. The later, tribu- later tribulations caused the early ones to be forgotten. Avram or Avraham, Abraham who is Abraham, batchila nase avla Aram. At first he became father to the nation of Aram. Ulavasof nasa. Av lechol haolam kulo, and ultimately he became father to the entire world. Sarai, he Sarah. Sarai is also Sarah. But chila na naaset Sarai leumata. At first she became princess to her own people. Levasof naaset 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 Sarah lechol haolam kulo, and ultimately she became a princess to the entire world. Just scroll down. About halfway down the first section on the left hand side, beginning with the word Tane. Tane bar kapara, bar kapara tora brasa, kol hakore la Abraham, Abram over baase. Whoever calls Abraham, Abram transgresses a positive commandment. Shnei Ma'afer is stated, V'haya shimcha Abraham, and your name shall be Abraham. Rabbi Eliezer, Omer Over Balav. Rabbi Eliezer says he transgresses a negative commandment. Shnei Ma'afer is stated, V'lo yikare od et shimcha Abraham. Your name shall no longer be called Abraham. Elamata, if so, hakorela sarai sarai haki nami. The one who calls Sarah by Sarai also transgresses. Hatam kuchabrihu amar la Avraham, there the Holy Blessed is he, said to Avraham, Sarai ishtecha lo tikra et shma. Sarai ki sarah shma. As for Sarai, your wife, do not call her the name Sarai, for Sarai is her name. Elamata, if so, one who calls Jacob, Jacob should also uh, be considered as having transgressed. Your name shall no longer be Jacob. Shani hatam dadar adre kara. There it is different because Torah returns and uses his original name. Dichtiv as it's written. Vayomer Elohim l'Israel b'marot halayla vayomer Yaakov Yaakov. God spoke to Israel in night visions and he said Yaakov Yaakov. Jacob Jacob. Mativ Rabbi Yossi bar Avin vi teima Rabbi Yossi bar Zvida Rabbi Yossi bar Avin and some say Rabbi Yossi bar Zvida challenged Ata hu Hashem ha'Elokim asher b'chata b'Avram You are Hashem the God who selected Abram 
meaning that Torah can, uh, also uses the name Abram. Amale, he replied, Hatam navihu deka misader lishvache de rachmana ma'ai dava mi'ikara. There the Prophet is arranging the praises, praises of the Merciful One and relating what occurred in earlier times. Hadiren Elecha Meimatai. We shall return to you, Meimatai. Chapter 2 Perik Sheni Mishnah Hayakare Batara, if one was reciting Shema in the Torah, Vigyazman Hamikra, and the time of Shema's recital arrived, Im Kevain Liboyatsa, if he directed his mind, he has fulfilled his obligation. The Prakim, uh, in between the paragraphs of Shema and his blessings, Shoel Mipnei Hakavod Meshiv, he may interrupt and inquire about the welfare, about another's welfare for the sake of their honor, and he may also return a person's greeting. Over at over Emsa, and in the middle, uh, if he's in the middle of, of a paragraph of Shema or under its blessings, Shael Mipnei Ha Ira Omeshiv, he may inquire on account of the fear and he may return, meaning he can inquire of, of someone's welfare uh, only on account of if he has a fear for his life and he may return a person's greeting. Divre Rabbi Meir, these are the words of Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Yoda Omer. The Emsa in the middle of the paragraph of Shema of one of his blessings, Sha'el Mipnei he may interrupt, uh, he may inquire on account of the fear, uh, meaning he may uh, inquire about another's welfare only on account of the fear of his for his life. Hakavod, but he may return a greeting for the sake of another person's honor. Uva Prakim, and in between the paragraphs of Shema and its blessings, Sha'el Mipnei HaKavod, he may in interrupt and inquire for the sake of another's honor. U Meshiv Shalom Lechol Adam, and he may return a greeting to any person. That's what Rabbi Yoda says. Edel Hen Ben HaPrakim, these places are considered between the paragraphs. Ben Bracha Rishonah Lishniah, between the first Shema, pre Shema blessing and the second pre Shema blessing. Ben Shnia Lishma, between the second pre Shema blessing and uh, the beginning of Shema. Ben Shema Li Vehaya Im Shema, between paragraph Shema and the next paragraph Vehaya Im Shema. Ben Vehaya Im Shema Le Yomer, Le Le Vehayomer, between the paragraph of Vehaya Im Shema and Vehayomer. Then Vayomer le Emet Vayatsiv between paragraph of Vayomer and the Poshma blessings of Emet Vayatsiv. Rabbi Yehuda Amer, but Rabbi Yehuda says, Ben Vayomer le Emet Vayatsiv lo Yafsik. One may not interrupt between Vayomer and the words Emet Vayatsiv, which is at the end of Shema. Amar Rabbi Yoshua ben Karcha, Lama Karma Prashat Shmali Vahaya Im Shema, why does the portion of Shma precede that of Vahaya Im Shema? Kadeshi Kabel Alav Ol Machut Shemaim Tchila, so that one should first accept upon himself the yoke of heaven's sovereignty. Uh, because we say Shema Israel, Hashem Al Kino, Hashem Echad, uh, first. And afterward, accept upon himself the yoke of the commandments. And the reason for Vayam Shemai preceding Vayomer. Because the mitzvah of studying Torah in Vayam Shemai applies both by day and night. Vayomer Eino Noheg Ela Vayom Bilvad. Whereas uh, the Mitzvah Tzitzit in Vayomer applies only by day. Scroll down. We're halfway through the bottom section. 
on the word, just finished the word build VAD on the left of the two dots. Now we're starting the Kamara. Kamara. Shma mina mitzvot tzrichot kavana, derived from the Mishnah that commandments require intent. May im kiven libo, what if he directed his mind? What if he directed his mind to it? Likrot, um, likrot, uh, to recite. Uh, but that he must simply intend to recite the words of Shema. Kamar asks, Likrot, uh, to recite, you mean he must intend to recite the Shema? Vaha kakare. But Mishnah says he's reciting the Shema passages from the Torah. Bekore lehagiha, where he is reciting to correct. The Mishnah is speaking about where he's reciting to correct any mistakes he found. The Mishnah teaches that one fulfills his obligation to recite the Shema by intending to recite the words. He need not concentrate on fulfilling the mitzvah of Shema. Tanur Rabbanan, the rabbis taught in Brisa, Kriyat Shema Kich Tava, the recital of the Shema, as it is written in the Torah, uh, Divrei Rabbi, the words of Rabbi, Bechachmi Momi Bechol Hashem, but the sages say in any language. So, uh, you should say, so the rabbis taught that uh, you should say it in Hebrew, but Rebbe says that it can be in any language. My Tamad Rabbi, what is Rebbe's reason for this, for, um, that it must be to clarify, it's the, the words of Rebbe, Rebbe said it should be in Hebrew no other language, and the Chachmim said it could be in any, langu any language. My Tamad Rabbi, what is Rebbe's reason? For saying it should only be in Hebrew, Amakra Vehayo. The verse states, and they shall be Vehayo, implying Behavyatan Yehu. They, the words of Shema, shall always be as they are now in Hebrew. Rabbanan Mai Tamehu. And what is the rabbi's reason for saying in any language? Amakra Shema. The verse states here, implying Bechol Lashon Shata Shema, in any language that you hear and understand. Or Rabbi Nami, but according to Rabbi as well, Haktiv Shema, it is written here. Uh, so, why does Rabbi, um, how does Rabbi address this? Hahu mi baile, Rabbi requires that when saying Shema, Hashma lasnecha masha tamoti mi picha. You must make the words that you bring forth from your mouth audible to your ears. That's the meaning of the word Shema here. Rabbanan Savare Lehu Kman Damar and the rabbis hold like one who said Lo Hishmiya Le Ozno Yatsa if one did not make uh, the Shema audible to his ears, he has fulfilled his obligation. Or Rabbananami, but according to the rabbis as well, Haktiv Vahayu, it is written and they shall be. So how do the rabbis address Vahayu that it should be recited in Hebrew? Rabbis require that uh, one may not recite Shema out of sequence. The Rabbi and Rabbi uh, says a different lesson. From where does he know that one may not recite the Shema out of sequence? He derives it from... The verse could have said Dvarim, but instead said Hadvarim. So the extra He means these words. And if it says these words, it must, it, therefore it needs to be read in sequence. Whereas just Dvarim would have, could be out of sequence. The Rabbanan Dvarim has Dvarim Lord Darshe, but the rabbis don't uh, expound or don't talk about Dvarim and Hadvarim. Lamemra de Savarabi. Is this to say that Rebbe holds Dechol Hatorah Kula Bechol Nemra that the entire Torah may be recited in any language? Dei Salka de Atach Elishon Hakodesh Nemra. For if it enters your mind, 
that it may be recited only in Hebrew, Vahayud Dechatav Rachmana Lamali. Why did the merciful one write in his Torah, and they shall be? Itzrech, it's necessary. Mishum Tirchiv Shema, because it's also written here. Uh, is this to say that the rabbis hold that the entire Torah must be recited in Hebrew? For if it answers your mind that it may be, may be recited in any language, Shma Dekatev Rahmana Lamali. Why did the most one right here? It's The expression here is necessary, Mishum Dichtiv Vehayu, because it is also written, and they shall, they shall be Hayu Vehayu, implying that the Shema must be read in Hebrew. Tanu Rabbanan, Rabbis to Abraisa, Vehayu Shelo Yikra Limafreya, and they shall be Vehayu, implies that one should not recite Shema out of sequence. Hadvarim Allah Vecha. Uh, the expression, the words upon your heart, Alevavecha, Yachol Tehebech Kol Haparasha Shrecha Kavana. It could be that the entire first portion of the Shema should require intent. Talmud Lomaha Ele, which scripture states these, Ha'ele Ad Kan Shrecha Kavana. Until here, intent is necessary. Mikan the Ela Elach Ein Tricha Kavana. But from here onward, intent is not, not necessary. Divrei Rabbi Eliezer. These are the words of Rabbi Eliezer. Amala Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva said to him, Harei Hu Omer. But the verse states, 